here at Shiloh. When the Israelites conquered the land, they came and Joshua set up the tabernacle here. Where the people are is a possible location of where the tabernacle sat. This is also the location of where um, Hannah came and when she had her son Samuel, she dedicated him, dedicated him, um, and he grew up here, right here at Shiloh. All right, we're still in Shiloh, and you can see the ruin, the ruins of um, the place, and the Philistines conquered. Well, when the Ark of the Covenant was lost, they um, destroyed Shiloh, and we can see archaeological evidence of the destruction. And hundreds of years later, the prophet Jeremiah warned. He said, um, Go now to my place that was in Shiloh, where I made my name dwell at first, and see what I did to it because of the evil of my people Israel. So that is what the Benjamites did. While the girls were dancing, each man caught one and carried her off to be his wife. We're standing on uh, Mount Gerizim, next to ancient Shechem, and uh, opposite of us is, is Mount uh, Ebal. And it was here that Abraham was originally promised the, to the land of Israel, and where later Israel, under Joshua's leadership, read the blessings and the curses of the law. Okay, we are here at Aphek, and this is the place where the Philistines battled the Israelites, and they had brought the Israelites, that is, had brought the Ark of the Covenant down, and however they lost it to the Philistines who took it to their cities. Um, and later on in history too, this was the place where the Apostle Paul came back, or was taken as a prisoner here from Jerusalem on the way to Caesarea, and he stopped here, and actually it was, at that time it was not called, um, Aphek was called Antipatris. Caesarea at a theater. In Acts 12 we read about how Herod Agrippa was severely uh, persecuting the Christians. He killed James and imprisoned Peter and we found out that in Caesarea uh, Herod Agrippa gave a pretty proudful speech and because of that speech he got a severe sickness and eventually died. We're here at a section of the harbor in Caesarea and Paul was imprisoned here in Caesarea and he gave his testimony before two procurators and Herod Agrippa II. And it was from it was from this area here that he was sent as a prisoner to Rome. Right now we are in Caesarea and we are in a Byzantine building. We are looking at a Greek inscription and a mosaic on the floor that says the Les Me Fabistai, which means um, you desire do you desire not to fear the government and then do good. And that's from Romans 13. I'm standing beneath the Roman aqueduct that brought water to the north, seven miles down Caesarea. All right, go. Hi, my this is Colin. We're at the Mediterranean Sea. At the sunset, it's gorgeous. <laughs> we are here at the Ailes Residency, and we just had dinner with his family and all our Ibex people. And where did you get this clothing? And so they dressed us up in these Bedouin uh, dress garb, I suppose. The, you know what? The women wear black uh -huh. and the men wear white, always. Uh -huh. Hey, 
Is that cheese, I'm guessing? Mm -hmm. Hi, we're in Caesarea at a theater, and this is... Yeah, I can't do it. You can start <laughs> over. Let me see it. We're in Caesarea at a theater. Yep, that's all. <laughs>